guys it's board gamers green here today with another video this time it is the top five most underrated superstars in the wwe today a lot of guys can fit into this category i have a lot of guys that i didn't put on here that could easily be there like rusev i mean rusev's great but i think a lot of people know that and rusev being on there is not going to do much for anybody there's only one superstar in here that i think is a given I mean, the other guys are just guys that I think could put on great matches as singles competitors in a either mid-card role or a t World Heavyweight Championship role. Number five, we got Dolph Ziggler. That's the guy that I said is the only big name I kind of have here. I really put him here for one reason. He's a great seller. I always thought Dolph Ziggler could put on great matches. I love Dolph Ziggler. He's one of my favorites. He's barely underrated, heavily underutilized. He hasn't been in the um, where he should be with the United States title picture and back when it was Intercontinental. He hasn't been that mid-card role. He's been chasing a World Heavyweight Championship, but he's been like this fifth or sixth guy in the chase. So he's never really gotten that big spot that he really could use on SmackDown. And hopefully it comes to him. Hopefully once they get the title off AJ, we can see a Dolph Ziggler title run a little bit. Number four, we got a guy that I think we can all agree on that it's not somebody that is huge but Breezango we got Tyler Breeze one of the best in ring talents that I've seen I think he could put on great matches singly he had a great match down in NXT with Jushin Thunder Liger we got Fandango he's a great talent he his gimmick coming in he was not a great gimmick but he could wrestle that was the thing about Fandango and now his gimmick now I think is more of a wrestling gimmick something that actually fits him he's a great actor he can talk on the mic i love their duo and i really think they're a heavily unutilized team i know they have the fashion vows segments but i really think they could be in like kind of that tag team championship role but i realize you got the usos you got the new day overshadowing the little old fashion police next we got luke harper now, Luke Harper's a guy that could have been in a World Heavyweight Championship title picture or, or, or going into WrestleMania this year. He he had a good chance. He really did. Luke Harper looked like he might have been in a triple threat at WrestleMania 33 with Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt after Randy Orton turned heel, kind of. Even though he was a babyface, he turned on the Wyatt family. He burned their house down. A heelish thing to do, but Orton was the babyface. And for some reason, Harper really never got into that match. Harper has been shoved to the side, and no, and everybody's forgotten about Harper. I think Harper could do good in the United States title open challenge. I think Harper could fit. He could have fit in the Money in the Bank very well. I would have rather seen um, Harper there than I probably would have freaking AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. Just because they had that moment is the only reason they needed to have them in there. Otherwise... I don't think the match is suited for them. Next, we got Aiden English at number two. I really like Aiden English, man. I've been high on Aiden English for quite a while. I liked him back in the VOD Villains. I didn't really care about the Simon Gotch character, man, but I really liked Aiden English. I thought he could do pretty well. He's a decent speaker. He's a heat magnet when he sings. I love his heel gimmick. Aiden English, thumbs up, man. You're one of my favorites. <laughs> I really love Aiden English. I think he's capable of putting on good matches. We've seen some good matches with the next man on the list, which he is fighting tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, I will not be sending out the review. I will be sending it out Monday morning for the WWE Pay-Per-View pay Battleground. So just heads up on that. And number one, we got the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Now, Ty Dillinger, he hasn't been on TV very much since being drafted. He might have been on TV three or four times. One of them was a Sonic commercial with Sami Zayn reviewing a milkshake or a slushy or something from Sonic. Ty Dillinger's been heavily underutilized. He's been work working dark matches. Even him and Miz have some beefs because Miz roasted him saying, all you do is dark matches. And Dillinger's just like, yeah, but I make them perfect tens. <laughs> Dillinger, I love Ty Dillinger. I really hope he can make the United States title picture. Like, a lot of this list, besides Brizongo, could really fit into that mid-card title picture. 
Aiden English, I mean, I really like Aiden English, but I don't think the, um, the United States titles for him. I would have had him more over on Raw, or at least been up in the Intercontinental title picture when the Intercontinental belt was over on SmackDown Live, because I really see Aiden English as an Intercontinental champion. I really don't see him as a United States champion, but Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, Ty Dillinger, all those guys can easily slide in there for an open challenge. I could see a great match with Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles. I could see that. I could see a great match with Ty Dillinger and AJ Styles. We've seen a Luke Harper, AJ Styles. I, no, we didn't. We saw Luke Harper, Kevin Owens, wasn't it? I saw Luke Harper. Oh, it was Luke Harper versus um, Jinder Mahal. That's who it was. It wasn't. It was the other champ. Never mind. Uh, I, I'd like to see a Harper Owens match. That'd be interesting. Uh, I don't know how AJ and. Harper would do. I just don't feel like they'd have the chemistry in the ring, but I really think Owens and Harper would be a good match. So these are my top five most underrated in the company of the WWE for 2017. Maybe you don't agree with somebody. Maybe you don't think Dolph Ziggler might be there. I was lingering about maybe not putting him on there. Really, I had to get Dolph Ziggler on there. I want him in that mid card title role. Give me Dolph Ziggler in that mid card title role. Give him a run with it. He's my favorite on this list besides Aiden English. Now, I like Ty Dellinger, but Aiden English, he is my absolute favorite on this list. I really love Aiden English. He is a great talent. And Brizongo, keep up the great work over there on SmackDown Live. I really think they should be edging towards a SmackDown um, title reign for their tag team championships. I really think it would benefit Brizongo a little bit. And who knows, maybe in the future, they might split. I'm going to hopefully it's a couple years out. Maybe it's a year or two out. But I would have Tyler Breeze as the babyface in that situation. I would have Fandango turn on him because I think the promo work there would be great as well. I think they'd be a great duo in the ring together against each other too. So that's my top five most underrated superstars of 2017 in the WWE let me know who you think it is. Maybe you think a Rusev should be on this list, even though I think a lot of people know Rusev's great, but he just, I just didn't put him on this list because I don't think a lot of people consider Rusev underrated because we all know Rusev's great. But do y'all know Aiden English is great? Because I love Aiden English. I know he's a great wrestler. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that red sub button. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below on whatever your thoughts or reactions are to what I had to say. Maybe it's controversial to you. Anyways, it's been Board Gamers Goon. I'm out. Peace.